Hello everyone, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can use code pipeline to deploy a resources using Terraform code. So we will try to create one small S3 bucket. But before to that, we will see how we can create the pipeline which will be triggered via code commit and which will apply the Terraform changes. So let's start the video. First of all, we will create a code commit repository. So here we'll create a repository. We will name it as TF source repo. Let's create it. Yep. Then we will create one file. So I have already created one provider.tf file just to save the time. So let's copy and paste to that. So basically we are configuring the providers and the S3 backend, which I have already. Let's copy and paste it here. We will name it as provider.tf. Here I'll add my name. That's it. Next, we will create the build project. Here we will, so we'll name it as Terraform hyphen build. Source would be the repository which we have created. Branch would be main. Here we'll select the operating system. and the image now this role would be created automatically here we need to add our commands which we want to run over the container let's switch to the editor so below line number 37 we need to add the commands I have those commands ready with me to save the time. So basically what we are doing is we are updating the operating system. Then we are installing the Terraform. And then we are checking the version of the Terraform and initializing the Terraform and applying the code which we want to apply. So here it would be auto approve. So it will not ask for any approval. We don't need any artifact. We will create the build project. Okay, it's done. Now we will create one pipeline. Source provider would be our repository. Build provider would be code build and our project name. So we don't need any deploy for now. So we'll skip this stage. before moving ahead we need to we need to update the role so here we need to add administrative access for now so the build can access the s3 backend and also will be able to provision the resources in future so let's add it quickly Okay. 
now let's check our pipeline okay it is failed let's update the policies here also we'll add administrative access this is for time being just to reduce our time of troubleshooting okay now we can rerun the pipeline again now it is working let's check the build So here we can see the logs. So now it is initializing the backend. It's done. Okay, so this was my last bucket which it, it deleted. So in this way it is working. So now it has deleted the existing created bucket. But in case you have any other code, you can upload it in the code commit repository and the pipeline would be triggered automatically and it will create the bucket again. So we can try that again. Let's add one file. So basically it will create terraform hyphen CICD hyphen bucket. Let's add my name here we'll name it as s3.tf now the pipeline would be running let's check Here it is. Let's check the build. So because I was using the old backend, that's why it deleted the existing S3 bucket. Now we will recreate it. So we just want to verify that our code pipeline is working fine.
so now it is again initializing the backend okay here we can see it is creating one resource that is the bucket which we have mentioned in the s3.tf file let's verify the resource as well let's go to the s3 console yep here it is so we have the bucket which we have created through the code pipeline thanks for watching the video let me know if you want any video on a specific topic thank you